Good evening. Hi. Continue. How are you guys on this Sunday evening? Quite frosty out there, zero degrees. This Snowing around Warsaw. This is what you like, right? Wait, I will just take out. Take it down. Oh, hi, hi, hi. Hi. Welcome to our conversation class. It's Lydia and Carlos, if somebody doesn't know. Hey. Us yet. Um, well, actually, I'm quite busy this day, and Carlos. Uh, came with an idea quite from... busy this day. What you mean today? Today mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Carlos came with an idea with the subject. So what's your subject honey for today's class? Today we're gonna talk about um, The events of this weekend meaning yesterday to be precise um, Which is Warsaw Motor Show and yes seriously you're gonna get it what yeah no. Warsaw motor show Warsaw motor show yeah. we went there are you interested in cars mm. and we also gonna throw into the jar uh, and stir it a little bit um, conversation about kindness why are you in one of those moods today? When Justyna, when do we? Where are we going? When are we going to start speaking Polish? Well, um, this series is about um, conversation classes in English, which um, I'm providing to Lydia. That's the um, general idea. We can't talk Pol speak Polish when we have an English lesson, right? Yes. Oh, Alicia is interested in cars. Great, Alicia. Mm. Alicia. Yeah. Good. I, I know her. Have you been she's to... Real. She's real. She's real. Well, who is it? Uh, she, I used to work with her uh, in Pytania Nacionale. Okay. She was one of these pretty girls that couldn't find their place in this unkind world, world. of the media. Okay, okay. <laughs> the ruthless... World. No, I, I used the word unkind um, as we're because, gonna speak because, yeah, because about we are going to talk well. about kindness. But yeah, Alicia is one of these special people. Uh, Hello, people. My name is Vera, and I am a cutie, cutie little <laughs> meerkat dog. I'm a mix of a meerkat and a dog. Yeah, meerkat is this animal. <laughs> yeah, no, not like who does like this, right? Mm hmm. Meerkat. Okay. Uh, well, you're welcome, babe. Hope to see you. Yeah. Where are you, Alicia, nowadays? Let me know. I'm curious because I. Ha ha ha! I'm real. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am reading it. You know, all the oh, time. Yes, I haven't. Yeah, I know. Uh, Viola, are you please. in one of those moods today? I am in. Yeah, I'm just awake, and I have a lot of things to do. As always, you always have things to do. Everybody okay, the, we wanted to, Carlos wanted to talk about um, wanted to talk about Warsaw Motor Show, mm -hmm. and I am in these wise, smart moods to talk about important stuff. Okay, uh, so let's talk about important and stuff. And whatever, and we might. And sway. may I? May I? Yeah, you yeah. finish. More than welcome to visit me, guys. Okay, you're abroad, right, Alicia? Tell me more. Andre, hi. And but uh, but yeah, I decided she's Liverpool nearby. Okay. But okay, so no more media. Lucky you. <laughs> and I um so I decided that I will link this subject Warsaw Motor Show with kindness. Um, and You but, decided. Wow. I mean I decided that I will link it. I will link it in my head, you know what I Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I wrote it yeah on the messenger. Okay, let's do it. I will also link it with kindness. Didn't I do it? Yes, you did. Okay, so um, or or so mm -hmm. motor show is something that I'm completely not interested in, but the thing is that uh, we wanted to take part in off-road rally. Mm -hmm. 
and we were very lucky to meet guys from Gerardov <clears throat> who just took us to their car. <laughs> kindly. Uh, kindly, yeah. That's why I wanted to talk about kindness and that's why the, um, I write a lot about kindness nowadays because mm -hmm. I discovered that it's such an effective way of living. Uh, living according to Carlos. Could you get rid of her somehow? I want to learn English as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, See. so, um, but I suppose you're more interested in Carlos's point of view, so tell me on more. On kindness or on cars? On cars. So on the cars. I will talk about kindness more in a while, whoa, 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 whoa. about my experience and so on. So, uh, the thing is, for me, our Warsaw Motor Show was great because I took part in this rally and rally, I experienced yeah. a lot of kindness. Okay? okay. And tell me more about your experience. Well, it was also uh, very nice. I mean, um, I was surprised at the scale of the event. Uh, obviously, as for Polish conditions, uh, this was my first time to be present at Warsaw Motor Show. And I must say, I was really impressed uh, to see um, special star guests such as uh, Richard Hammond from Who is he? BBC Top Gear. Okay. Um, one of the most famous motor journalists <laughs> in the world. Yes. Um, yeah. I actually had a chance. <laughs> I actually had a chance to um, even walk a dog with him um, along the River Thames back in the day in London on, uh, well, on few occasions, I'm not sure started with her. And as well as, you know, um, huge amounts of different beautiful cars, uh, lots of people and uh, uh, one person um, grabbed my attention and that was uh, Sebastian Lutte, who is um, a racing and a rally driver. Um, he's a, I don't know, some of you may know him, some of you may not. Um, uh, he's one of those people um, that are very, very inspiring. Uh, at least this is what inspires me. Um, uh, he's disabled. Um, uh, as far as I know, he had an accident back uh, in the past and um, he's on a wheelchair. Still, this doesn't stop him um, from being a great, great racing uh, and a rally driver. Um, he's very dedicated and passionate about the, the motorsport. Um, he's got a specially built and designed uh, rally car that doesn't have a steering wheel and has got special controls. Obviously, his legs don't work, so he's got a special joystick that he uses to accelerate and brake um, with his right hand and he's steering with a crank in his left. So, um, uh, huge, huge respect to um, uh, Sebastian um, for doing what he does, uh, doing it so well and still progressing. He's got a great uh, co-driver who also helps him uh, to, 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 to obviously get through the stages. Uh, he's got a team of supporting people and very supportive people. So, yeah, I mean, uh, Huge, huge, hugely impressed by um, uh, by his dedication to to sport, to life, um, for not giving up. Um, you know, many of people would uh, give, would have given up uh, while being disabled and not being able to walk. Um, so yeah, and he's also a genuinely uh, nice and kind person. Which brings us to the subject that Lydia wanted to talk about today. Um, kindness. What about kindness, Lydia? So, in, um, <laughs> yeah, what you uh, touched is the case when, um, which happens very often in show business and, and any other business, that people that are successful 
are successful people kind? You know what I mean? Or they stop ca taking care and so on of other people. Uh, so maybe this is why you you appreciate Sebastian's kindness. But the thing is, he has been already experienced by his life, so probably he knows what is really important and he doesn't waste his energy for things that are not important at all and yeah. he doesn't hurt anybody. Um, okay. Um, well, he, uh, as far as I know, he lives his life to the fullest and he's following his passion and found his purpose in life, which is car racing, despite okay. his disability. So. Okay, when I joined you yesterday, you were quite excited with some cars there. Yeah. Tell me more about them, because I know nothing. Well, they had um, Koenig's egg uh, worth 11 million Polish zloty. Um, the car accelerates from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour uh, in 2.9 seconds and the engine has 1,018 horsepower, which means nothing to me. For a very lightweight car that's made, that which is, which body is made entirely of carbon fiber, mm -hmm. um, it's it's a, well, it's one of the fastest and one of the most rare as well as expensive cars in the world so that was it um they had plenty What's the use of it for us was the practical benefit of it beautiful to look at <coughs> must be a dream to drive because the acceleration of that car um, must be uh, tremendous well and it's a it's a it's a, it's a state-of-the-art thing it's 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 a <coughs> thing of beauty okay. a car like that um Obviously, they had all the other brands such as Lamborghinis. Uh, Lamborghini had uh, its um, uh, SUV, which some of you may know is the fastest SUV in the world currently. From the um, uh, well, com that co that is coming out from the factory. That acceleration on that one is 3.5 seconds to 100, and it's very very beautiful car as well. Um, imagine how is it driving a 4x4 SUV Lamborghini I mean come on it why doesn't get any you, better than that why wouldn't you do this live on your channel it would be more pro appropriate oh my god because you know you could be doing it for hours yes do it I'll, I might do it and then we will talk about stuff which is important and people who visit us here mm -hmm. are probably quite astonished <laughs> hearing you talking about something because I hear you what you're saying but I remember nothing and understand nothing well it's obviously not your domain yeah and they are also because these are mothers and I can see who is coming and who is going away okay you know <laughs> So, moms, what's your favorite car? What is your favorite SUV that you go shopping <laughs> in? My favorite or car doing is the car which is big. Oh, oh excuse or me. Or doing school runs. Which is big and which may be um, easily cleaned. Which may be... Your, one is, your car is very easy to clean and you still don't do that. My boyfriend doesn't help me. What? What? I've got my own car to clean. Yeah, and it's clean all the time. It yeah. never gets dirty, actually. I'm trying to keep it tidy. Yeah, I Inside. asked you several times for help with that car. Didn't okay, I'll do it tomorrow then. Okay. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, um, what is this? The is thing? the on yeah? The thing is about cars is that they need to be driven. maintained. Yeah, no, the thing is. I need to drive a car and this is the only need this, I yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Changing oil, um, changing, well, maintaining overall servicing, things okay. like that. Okay, and the thing is... Mm, this doesn't exist for you, I know. <laughs> no, okay, I may ask somebody for help. I'm not this girl who uses my energy for this, but if I had to, I would do it, of course. These things that you mentioned are not so difficult, you know. 
Yes, of course. But um, yesterday uh, I took also uh, went to this Warsaw Motor Show. I was quite late. I had a lot of things to do at home before that, and I was late. And I was like, quite well, it's almost finishing. But then we uh, went to this off-road rally. You and Zach. Yeah, yeah Zach uh, and I. And we met uh, people from Gerardów, but the rally was um, organized by Mieszko from Offroad Piaseczno. And uh, this is my big, big thank you to Mieszko and to all the people from Offroad Piaseczno because you are doing a wonderful job. What you do is not just off-road. What you do is not just um, talking about cars. Actually, there's not so much about cars there. This is a group of people who are yes yeah, so just do it roger <laughs> you, you may listen to us talk to us and have conversation classes with us and if you live in warsaw or nearby you may also talk to Give carlos me a call. and carlos will help you we can meet in you. person and like we can do carlos some training in english coaching teacher. in english yeah so what i wanted to say is that um first time when i went to off-road rally i was not so I didn't know where I was going, although I know rallies already a bit, a bit. As a co-driver. Yeah, um, but this is for Respect. another conversation. Mm. But what I experienced there on at the off-road rally was kindness, was taking, yeah, was uh, extreme easy going, extreme easy going of everyone there, Fre people that are friendly just because they are there they are friendly to everyone although they don't know you at all i'm i friendly and helpful and helpful you know i knew nobody there and everybody was my friend or maybe they already knew <laughs> who you were now you know yesterday they knew <laughs> but before kind of. that yeah, yes. i think they've recognized you from uh, the video that you've uh, made yeah, so back. I so I said yesterday they knew, but at the first rally they didn't know mm -hmm. it, because yesterday it was funny because when I entered the off-road Piaseczno, uh, how do we call it? Off-road Piaseczno boot, boot uh, at Warsaw Motor Show, I saw hi Rogzadi, I saw myself in in the on the screen, which was quite funny because I said hi to everyone and hi to myself. Yeah, you were on you you were you were on the projection screen. Yeah, huge <laughs> uh, image uh, of the film. And I must say, it was so nice. It was so cool because Andre from All Terrain uh, made a great movie, and I know Afrod Pisechno likes this like this movie, so they put it on there, and it was all the time there. Yes, all yes. I, I, as I walked past it uh, before you before we met each other because you obviously as you mentioned arrived a little bit later um first thing that grabbed my attention was yes you in your colorful jacket uh, with the microphone interviewing uh, all the um uh, you know people who were taking part in that um uh, rally uh, when was it when was it exactly was it in august or september this it was first rally the end of august the end of August, August yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, listen to us, learn with us, educate with us. If you know German, you know English as well. And we are Polish, so our English is not perfect, at least mine. So practice, let's practice together. Uh, so yeah, what I experienced, so for cars is something that I am really not interested in at all. Um, although, of course, I like to have a good car and I would I, I'm dreaming about Jeep actually I'm visualizing that I'm riding a Jeep I'm driving a Jeep because Jeep I, Wrangler not I don't know mm. Jeep yeah as an as an as in an American brand Jeep it doesn't need to be Wrangler if there are better ones and bigger ones and more useful Chirakis. ones uh, as I used to um, I mean, I have a friend who used to have a Jeep and he was giving me a lift to work when I lived in Austin and I really liked it. And this is one thing. And another, uh, another thing, I don't know why, I really don't know why, but as far as I remember, Jeep was the only brand of a car when, you know, you remember we had such diaries when you had questions, what's your name, what's your favorite color, what's your favorite song and so on. And if anybody asked me what's my favorite car, I always answered Jeep. Okay. 
you know, no, since I was a girl. With me, it was changing constantly. No, for me, it was Jeep. It would be BMW, Mercedes, Porsche, uh, Volkswagen, you, you name it, whatever. <laughs> so, so, okay, so my, um, so now um, joining this family of off road um, is quite natural for me. Mm -hmm. All the more it's connected to this Jeep and so on. And these people are uh, so family loving, Easy they are going. so open and they are so normal, if you know what I mean. <laughs> they are um, pr probably many of them have a lot of money because uh, maintaining such a car, preparing it to the rally is quite expensive. Still, when you join this family, everybody is equal. And you really can't stay standing there in this crowd who is better, who is the best, who is the, more, who is the richest. Everyone is equal, which I really love. And what I love most is the fact how they treat kids. Um, I need to show you something. Wait. Okay. Uh, you might, uh, now you may give me... Roger, uh, I understand a lot, but uh, I do not talk uh, much myself. Well, Roger... If you understand me now, so listen, if you need a training, here I am. I will help you to, Look, to get start talking a little bit more, get the courage and you confidence. Even, you even get a green heart from Roger. Look. Mogę chodzić brudne, mokre, zmęczone. I am an off-road kid. <laughs> off-road kids, because... Oh. Mm -hmm. This is a t-shirt from yesterday's rally. Um, what I really like about those people uh, from uh, Warsaw Motor Show from Off-Road team is the fact that they know what is most important. I mean, probably there are these other, um, other um, let's say, riders that take care about the result, right? But there are also these that take care about just Co having good quality time quality time get, having good time fun and experiencing the world especially when you have your whole family with you so the result and the first or second and or third place is not doesn't important. matter yeah mm -hmm. and all the kids get uh, rewards yes all the kids get diplomas and medals and for taking the part yes, in the for first rally. place hello wow, every yeah. kid has first place and so they also created a special class which is called touristic when where you may tourist tourist when you may take part with your whole family also with kids so whenever you feel bored whenever you feel you don't know what to do just are you check. feeling up for an adventure of some sort you may also you may just check what off-road piaseczno is uh, doing and just join the family you don't need to have a car you just uh, you may just arrive and take a look see somebody will invite you to the car this is what we did yesterday I just went you got invited by him. yeah I got invited and <laughs> we were in the car you know we even got stuck and we needed to be pulled when and with a winch yes yeah. you got stuck in what i don't know what was that. in a ditch yeah kind of it yeah. was a very i saw it on the video and on the pictures it was a quite deep ditch yeah so and we were so um, my driver was krzysiek and his brother was co-driver piotrek and they had two kids Gabrysia, that who is six, and Mikołaj, who is nine. And then we joined, me, Lydia, and Zach, who is six, and we all of us were in one car, uh, taking part in a rally and really having great fun. And even I have it in a video that uh, Krzysiek, the driver, is saying, oh, now we will go to get one stamp. It will be hardcore. And I'm saying, oh, so maybe we will go out not to disturb you. And I said, no, we want to take you with us. So this was cool. It was real. So yeah. this is what I um, this is what I like when I join uh, such an event like Warsaw Motor Show, which I actually decided to join because I have a son who likes cars also. So He's and, a boy. and I uh, experience something that is more valuable than materialistic goods, such as kindness.
good yeah, su su uh, such as uh, uh, something different than materialistic goods what is the materialistic goods in this case cars luxury okay. you know what i mean mm -hmm. just uh, being because i suppose many people who visit such events they are jealous i mean or not happy because they don't have it all well some people dream of having a, a dream car um, sometimes they will fulfill their dreams sometimes they can't do it um, but I, it's also really? about passion for cars and for okay. motorsport so yeah I mean who wouldn't want to have the best car if they could afford it yeah but sometimes people just don't care yeah but so why do you want to have a Jeep if you have SUV Honda I mean, it's not like I. I... Well, it's the same. You would like no, to have something that you same. like. Yes, but why? Yeah, you you said yourself that I will I would need to change my car. So if I need to think about changing my car, I might mm. think about another car brand yeah. Jeep. Right? Okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, the thing is. Um... I know what you're trying to say. That you know, sometimes people are focused on just cars 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 and having the best and uh, obviously upgrading constantly but if i saw many passionate people you know like dedicated to uh, either tuning their cars or um, you know and taking part in the competitions that you know their cars have been um, you know judged by the juries who decided which car had the best upgrades, which looked the best, which had the best, best paint job, and so on and so on. So, you know, there was a part where you had uh, dealers um, uh, showing off their latest models, and that attracts a lot of uh, potential buyers or clients who came to see the new cars, but also you get people, you know, because there was in, it, that was in three different uh, domes, uh, you you had people there who came to just to take part as as a as a competitors in the events that they are passionate about. So, okay, were you talking about yesterday's event? No. No, there was next door. There was an event. They were judging the cars. Next door. Mm -hmm. What next door? In this. In the other part of the of the the hall. So yesterday, a yes. demo of Warsaw Motor Show. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just don't get it. I, I, I get lost when you speak of it all. Speak of it all? Oh. Speak, speak of about it. it? Yeah. Okay. I just... Okay. Well, cars I, is I, not I, your thing, basically. Yeah, I just turn off. Yes, there you go. Uh, kindness. <laughs> no. Lydia and her kindness. She just turns off. I mean, wh when I can be sincere, honest here, I will say, I will say it normally, I wouldn't. I know, I know. Just um, kidding. And what, to make it even funnier, I used to be a host uh, in Kawa Herbata in 2008 and nine, And I remember that one of my best interviews ever made live on TV was about cars. Well, there you go. You know why? Because I knew nothing about it, and I needed to prepare myself. So you prepared yourself, and you yeah. you were uh, basically um, um, like so stressed out. So you wanted to. I mean, I was not stressed stressed at all during the the, the show because I was prepared. But I remember yeah. I went to bed around two a.m. You didn't want it to suck in the subject, so you got prepared. That's why it came out so well. I was, I, I am usually well prepared, but I remember that that was a conversation when my, um, how do we say realizator? In the, this person who is... Um, your producer in your ear. Kind piece. of, yeah, producer. Not producer, but yeah. There are probably other names for this. Director? No. Where is Javar when we need him with all these yeah. TV technical so, terms? Yeah, okay, so the person who uh, was talking to me on, on my, in my ear said uh, and he, he was and he's a, he was a and man mm -hmm. he said wow Lydia, i'm impressed oh okay 
So, <laughs> so I got it just on the show live that he was already what wow this little blonde girl is talking about car in such a professional cars in such a professional way, and that that was cool because I usually I want my guests to feel comfortable and to feel respected. So this is my respect to them when I'm prepared and I don't ask stupid questions, right? So um, yeah, and you I don't want to come up come across being dumb and ignorant because not knowing the subject that you are actually as talking. as far as I remember, I have about. never made, uh, and now I'm, I try to think of it, but I made um, programs about off-road many times. I, I've made. I've made. Mm -hmm. uh, but I also made many times. But I didn't make a single program about these luxurious cars you know what i mean fancy cars you mean yeah i, I mm -hmm. don't think so nothing what <laughs> what is the fancy car in your um opinion which one is it a brand is it a a, a sort of the car you know uh, as i know you for more than two years already i know a bit okay uh, so um <laughs> What? I'm smiling. No, I'm just smiling. I just, you know, <laughs> when I open, but but still, I live in this cliche. When I see a red Ferrari, it's this. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. When I see a yellow low Lamborghini or something, yeah. it's this, right? This is it. Yeah. So I, I, when I see it black, I would probably the, no, not recognize. If you it. see it in black, yes, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't recognize it. Okay. Yeah. So even if you, there is another. Of course, I know that there are some Lexus thing or a, yeah. Audi or something, but still, I wouldn't recognize. She knows her cars, doesn't she? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? She uh, knows what? Her cars, her car thing. <laughs> I know nothing. Yellow about. Lambo and red Ferrari. That's it. That's where it ends. Yeah, there exactly. are some Lexuses. And but whenever you ask me, whenever you ask me, uh, for example, oh, you know, uh, I saw somebody and you say, uh, what car was he driving? I would say, I don't know, blue. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say blue. Blue. And either you would say blue low or blue 4x4 four four thingy. Uh, hi, Matilda. You don't need to go to bed yet. Just listen to us. We may sing you some lullaby. Does Matilda know her English well? Better than you, Roger? She, she's six, so she, she's exactly like Zach, my yeah. son. Yeah. Uh, what are the lullabies in English? Hi, Matilda, and say hello. Lullabies. Little cars, little cars, go sleep with and little cars. <laughs> Well, there you go. That's a My son falls asleep immediately when I sing this way. He yes. doesn't care what I sing. He just likes me singing. And as I can do it, <laughs> he likes it. Well, you, yeah. Your singing is very nice, I would say. You, you, you cannot say anything else now. And we, you don't need to. Uh, okay. Um, so the thing is, um, I, we didn't go to Warsaw Motor Show today, although we uh, wanted. We wanted to, but yeah. So the thing is, we did it one at one day. Well, it was a long day anyway. We stayed uh, after hours because of the um, off-road Piaseczno thingy. Yeah, so uh, this is it. This is it. And I am kindly inviting you to my blog because there you will find a text in Polish, just for those who prefer us Polish, uh, in Polish. Uh, it's about kindness. Uh, the movie about off-road is already on YouTube and if you like to hear more about cars, fancy cars, you may contact Carlos and he will prepare... I know, mm, a little bit. Uh, yeah, and he will prepare an exclusive live on his channel. Mm? Arkadiusz Kochanowski, you will find him anything, on Instagram. Anything for you guys, anything, any subject. We can chat in English, no problem. Yeah, I just don't feel like talking about cars. So. You never do. But you like them, anyway. What, cars? Yes. You find if the car is functional. Yeah, it needs to be functional. And you can fit all of your um, boards in. Yeah, and the bicycles. Bikes, and boards, longboards, long boards, skateboard. I mean, yes, regular skateboard. 
BMX, um, wakeboard, snowboard, and all dog. the other equipment. And a dog. Whether it's summer or winter, just just Thank just you. just in case, stick it all in a car and take it. <laughs> Thank you, Roger. We, we will see uh, the, check the the photo in a second because now we are finishing. Um, hey, Anya. We are seeing each other tomorrow at 3.45, as far as oh, I remember. Oh, this is your pupil, wow. Yes, one of my students Adult joined student. in. Anya, you may, you may give us about uh, um, kind of, um, how do we say it, Anya? Some review. feedback, a review. Uh, review. If any, because, um, Roger, take a look. You have uh, Anya there. And Anya is Carlos's student. Hi. Hey, Anya. So, Roger, if you want to join lessons, you may contact Anya also to ask if Carlos can do it. And then also uh, take a lesson. And Anya, it's great you're here, actually. Yeah, it's so cool. How is Carlos? Tell me more. Is he nice? Is he talking smart things that are interested to a woman? Because, you know... Cars, well, today we talk, she's just joined in. Anya, you just joined in, so we were talking about mainly about cars and Warsaw Motor Show, which we had a chance to visit yesterday. Yeah, but but I was talking about kindness, Anya. Don't worry. Well, <laughs> uh, we all like kindness, both you and me. Please don't make it so shallow. He. Oh, you, you, so usually do it. Whenever I give some meaning to something, you say always, everybody, generally. Yes. Please, don't do it to yes, me. Yes, he's very nice. Thank you, Anya. <laughs> <laughs> Confirmed. <laughs> okay, we need to finish now. We need to finish now because I'm going to cook soup. Really? Cook soup? Cook soup. Okay. Not cook soup? Cook a soup. Is he laughing at you, Anya, just as he's laughing at me? Or he isn't. No, I'm keeping it professional. Ah, so please do it here as well. <laughs> it's meant to be entertaining. Yeah. As well as. Yeah, but it. Beneficial to but our if viewers. I get, but if I get discouraged, that it then it will disappear. You will blah, never blah, get discouraged. Blah, blah. I will never. No, you're. Why? To do English class with you on <laughs> Sunday evening when I have a lot of work. A lot of work. Uh, oh my. Why are you laughing at me? Don't do Let's, this. No, really? Why? Pomidorova. Oh. Mm, we like pomidorova. Yeah. Tomato soup. I will also do pomidorova, but I, as I don't eat rosso anymore, I make it on um, vegetable broth, let's call it. If I... Yes. Vegetable broth. Okay. Are you surprised I know such a word? Yes. <laughs> but that's good. I like that. <sighs> I, mm. I have earned some respect because I know a at word. The end. Broth. At the end. Broth. At the end. See? Horrible. So are you, Horrible. are you feeling still slightly discouraged? Or are you now back on track? <clears throat> I need to cook, <sighs> cook soup. She needs, to, she needs a break. <laughs> uh, we are wishing a very great week and let's hope um, this winter is not going to be so fast if you do haven't changed your tires yet if you are still in the subject <laughs> so because Carlos hasn't kisses kisses uh, Roger and Matilda. Matilda yeah good night so uh, as today we had some snow let's hope uh, you will not freeze tomorrow when you are going to work or kindergarten or mm. to school and have a great week bye bye take Anne. care